Tennessee Valley residents didn't see much of wintry weather last year. Well, Chief Meteorologist David Carnes tells us what we could see this winter in a story new at six. Before we take a look at our forecast for this winter, why don't we take a very quick look at last winter. Last year we were forecasting above normal temperatures and take a look. The actual temperature actually two and a half degrees above normal. Precipitation, we were forecasting for rain near normal rainfall and in fact the actual rainfall was 2.59 inches just above normal rainfall. With the snow, we were forecasting below normal snowfall and the actual snowfall was just light traces being reported at the airport in Chattanooga. Now the average annual snowfall for Chattanooga is 3.6 inches, spread pretty evenly from January to February, and we have to add March into that as well. Very little falling during the month of December. What we actually had during December, January, and February is just light traces again being reported at the airport in Chattanooga. Now I know some of you outside that area did see some accumulation, especially in some of the higher elevations, uh, but uh, here in the city we did not see that much at all. So what can we expect this year? Well, believe Believe it or not, we have to start when we do this forecast in the equatorial Pacific Ocean. Why on earth does that have anything to do with the weather in Chattanooga, Tennessee? Well, believe it or not, whether the water in the equatorial Pacific is warm or cool has a huge determination on what the weather is going to be during the winter time and on across the entire globe, including in the southeast, including in Chattanooga. If the water is warmer, we call that an El Nino year. If the water is cooler, we call it a La Nina. Well, most of the data that we're looking at now is showing that it is going to be a La Nina year where the water in the equatorial Pacific is going to be a little bit cooler than normal. Well, what does that typically mean? This is forecast to be a fairly weak La Nina, but a La Nina in general will have the jet stream further north and you'll notice that the jet stream, if we define it as that river of air way up in the air that divides cooler air to the north from warmer air to the south, with the jet stream positioned like this, and the moisture flow positioned well to the north, we're usually during a La Nina year talking about warmer than normal temperatures and drier than normal conditions. But again, this is a weak La Nina year. And La Nina, El Nino, not the only factors that go into putting together a winter weather forecast. There's Arctic ice. There's something called the North Atlantic Oscillation, the Madden-Julian Oscillation, and those are just a few. So if we have a weak La Nina and we've got a lot of other factors, those other factors play a huge part when the La Nina season is not that strong. And a lot of that other data is suggesting for this year that jet stream much further south, which would allow that cooler air to slide much further south. And maybe, while I don't think it's going to be a really active snow or rain year, I do think, as some of the model data indicates, that we're probably looking at a pretty normal year in terms of precipitation. So, what is the bottom line? This year for 2021-2022, I think we're looking at our temperature normal to just slightly below normal. Now again, I think we'll have times when it's warm. I think we'll have times when it's really cold, but you take it all together, average it out at the end of the season, and we're probably looking at near normal to just below normal average temperatures, about one and a half degrees. Well, what about that ever important snowfall? Let's start with the rain. Rainfall, Normally 10 to 15 inches, I think we'll get that. Snowfall, again, 3.6 is average. I'll put us at about two inches to four inches in the valleys and three inches to six inches of snowfall in the mountains. Pretty normal, nothing extravagant, but definitely a much busier season than it was last year.